Hello everyone, welcome back. So it's time to look into Don the Convict's uh, future again. <laughs> so of course uh, it'll be for this come upcoming week, September 16th through the 22nd, of which the 17th is the uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces. So we'll see how that's going to be affecting him for the next six months. And yeah, that's it. Let me just bring you over my table. Be right back. And I want to actually also <laughs> check in on how he's feeling about uh, the debate. How does he really feel? So I'm going to do a modified Celtic cross and um, adding, adding more cards. And I'm only going to use the tarot, so this shouldn't be too long. But let's, um, let's see. What are the forces in motion? What are his challenges? What does he have control over? What's he done in the past? How's he feeling about the past? What's hanging over him with no control? And near future, and then of course, what he's attracting, how other people are influencing the situation. And instead of the distant future, I'm going to just do uh, three cards up here for this, this week's outcome. <laughs> Meanwhile, Taylor Swift has endorsed him, and that caused over 300,000 people to start the process or get registered to vote. So there you go with that. Donald John Trump. What is going on for you? September 16th through the 22nd. And I will remember to link his, um, his astrology eclipse video, just in case you guys want that. But, yeah, the full moon eclipse portal will show up in this reading as well. Over here in the future. Okay. <laughs> still, still just totally cracking up over Kamala saying, um, or I guess his reaction, man, she, she knows how to poke the bear. When she said people were leaving his rallies early because they were bored and exhausted. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Right there. Well, so three cards here for the forces in motion. So we have this Seven of Cups, <laughs> ten, of, ten of Swords, ten of which he's fallen on his own swords. He can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. And then we have the Three of Pentacles reverse, of which is, of course, no more teamwork within his dark money, you know dudes. Challenges. The sun reversed. Woo! Ten of pentacles. And the fool. Okay. Let's see. I'll move these up a bit. And then what he's sitting in. Uh-oh. This could be somebody coming after him who's pretty pissed while he's traveling. But this is him also on his revenge tour. And he's actually really directionless. Well, let me just get the cards laid out. And then and I'll talk about it. So this, these are the three cards for what he's sitting in. Over here, I want to do... Uh, how many cards should I do here for? Well, I want to know, basically all together, what he's done in the past, but also how he's feeling about his past. So I'm thinking just, let's see if I can fit. Actually, you know what? If I move, ooh, look at that. If I move this tray here, I can make a little more room. Okay, there we go. So, so I want six cards here. Because this is important. This is how he feel, oh yeah. This is how he's feeling about um, the debate. Okay, 
the karma that is hanging over him. I might have to come up even just a little bit. Hold on. Oh, no, that's up all the way. I'd have to get up and move my whole tripod. So I'll just grunch a little. Hopefully, you know, everybody knows the Rider Waite Smith, so um, I don't think this should be a problem. But I want four cards up here for his karma. I had planned that out. Whoa. Okay. The karma hanging over him. Let's keep those kind of separate so you can remember. Then over here, uh, three cards for what he's attracting down here. You know, it's his, his internal process. It's uh, for all of us, for all humans, whatever's going on inside of us is what we attract. And we can always change that. But he's stuck in lizard brain mode, so that doesn't happen for him. How others are influencing the situation. Yeah. Carl Rove certainly had some things to say about him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Lawrence O'Donnell's uh, MSNBC show. I think they have a, they always have an audio version up on the MSNBC YouTube channel and listen to it from last night. It was quite amazing. Okay, and then this is the, up here would be the outcome for this week. So I left out the distant future, and that's all. That's good enough. Okay. Hmm. Wow. All right. So here, right, so right in this center here is, are the forces, three forces in motion. Usually we just do one card, but, you know, people are multifaceted. So, um, he, well, he's multi-delusional. Anyway, I'm just going to read this simply as um, the smoke and mirrors that he throws up and all of his delusions. He thinks he has to have all these Trump Towers. He has to have his name out there, this recognition. He has to have all the gold and the money and the victory and the power. And he wants the sexy women around him. And that's, yeah, there you go there. <sighs> the challenge to that is the fact that he's old and decrepit. And his vitality is gone. He doesn't know how to play. He doesn't know how to have fun. He, he, he's just, and he's, he's, a, he's a toddler. He's still a toddler at, at heart. Um, this card is also breakdowns of the body systems inside. The heart, eyes, solar plexus, you know masculine areas if you don't catch my drift <laughs> don't, don't even think about it Ugh. okay and then ten of swords here reversed well like i said all those swords that you can fall on you could do this with the four of swords as well but especially the ten of swords because the person is stabbed in the back usually by someone else but when it's reversed he's done it to himself and the swords, to me, are always about the way we think and the, what's going on in our mental processes. He's done. He's just done. I, this, to me, in the reverse position, is ruin. Failure and ruin and an, and a, uh, just, a, just a, an ending that's inevitable. Okay? And... This is related to his family's um, legacy. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, the end of his family's legacy. That, his big challenge. Now, so the, all the cards in the challenge position, we would read it as a reversal. The sun coming through reverse means it's doubly important. This, I'll just do this so that you can get the, you know, if you're learning tarot, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is family disputes. Uh, it's also about um, just major financial failure, right? Sometimes it's a big health event that gets the family together, right? It's, it's definitely a big upset to the somewhat easy life that a person had set up, you know, ahead of time. So, yeah. There's that. And then also it's, it can be loneliness because it's the opposite of having a lot of people around you. You know, if you don't have yourself, if you're not connected to who you truly are, 
And if you haven't done your, you know, your, your grief work around feeling lonely and being, you know, whatever you've gone through, what happens is, is you can have all kinds of people around you and you're still lonely all the time because there's no real connection to yourself to, you know, either share with the, the other people or to receive, you know, or to just to be with. You don't really, if you don't know yourself, you don't know anyone else. Okay. Three of Pentacles reversed, or upright even, would be our dark money card. Teamwork with, um, you know, and remember this is, you know, the forces in motion. With with him, oh, you know what, I forgot to do the, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I forgot to do a, a, a line here for the um, near future. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. And I, I probably should be going over here and doing that, but I will. I'll get there. So this is definitely a modified Celtic cross. We'll just pretend this is all kind of the near future because it, it, all, it, it is really when you're thinking about it. If you think, you know, all the way in. So anyway, just to get through this with the three of pentacles reversed, this is a lack of teamwork. This is uh, people who don't have... Um, you know, really any skills and people around him that don't have any real skills. And then because this is in the challenge position, let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, read it as a reversal because that's really what you do. Uh, this is people who are very naive and just foolish. And he's out of control, out of body. This could be a fall. <clears throat> this card here, the Three of Pentacles reversed, can be hardening of the arteries. It's uh, Mars and Capricorn. So when it's reversed, you know, how when the, uh, there's not much passageway through the arteries and the heart's trying to squeeze blood, and um, there's restriction there. Mars, the life force, can't get through the structures of the body. He might be lightheaded and fall. He might be lightheaded and dizzy a lot. So, okay, down here where he's sitting with the, the Knight of Pentacles, well, he's thinking he'll just, he'll just keep working and a little, you know, trying to have some type of determination and routine in his life. And he's, you know, he's, he's modical, but modical, <laughs> modical. <laughs> he's, he's got a modicum of, I was thinking of the words like modicum. He's got a modicum of, uh, what do you call, um, uh, work ethics, I guess, just to kind of show up and do something every day so he feels important. But I feel with this one, sometimes this can be a person who's pretty stuck in a rut, you know. He's definitely very stubborn, we know that. The chariot coming through reversed, well, he's definitely not centered. He's definitely only in his masculine. He's never in his feminine, unless he's got his hand out, you know, try asking, begging, and he does his seductive, oh, you know, you can hear it in his voice. He's, it's, it's like he and Ivanka are just disgusting with the voice. Uh... So, so yeah, so his vehicle is not connected. He doesn't have direction. He doesn't have the cosmos, and he doesn't have the uh, structure around him to protect him. If you put these two cards together, he is literally sitting in, uh, like, in his mind, and, and he does have control over this, but what he's afraid of is the past repeating itself, He's stuck in his childhood wounding, but he's also stuck in the past where there was the assassination attempt. And so he's traveling through life with that, these walls around him. And he can't really look up and, you know, be connected to the cosmos like the way the, the chariot is. Instead, he's direction, directionless and um, he's caught in a trap. This is a card of being stuck in a trap when you're... Um, there's lack of control and direction. There's moodiness, and you're stuck in your own moodiness, you know, because it's, it's ruled by cancer. So, you know. And this is him not taking any self responsibility for his life. And he just goes through life complaining. So, there's their dad. Okay. Over here, so usually we go this way, down and over. Some readers go, go like up and around this way. I go down, 
and then we want to look at the past, and then we want to look at what's hanging over him, which he has no control over. does have control here, but his only way to control is to uh, come in tight and restrict himself because he's, he's very much afraid. Also, I forgot, I should have said, with the Six of Cups reverse, that's my card for memory loss. Okay. Cognitive decline. So up here with how's he really feeling about the debate? And this is all this is him in the eclipse portal, right? So which happens tomorrow, 25 degrees uh, Pisces. I think it's 7.34 p.m. Pacific, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, how he's feeling about how he did at the debate, he feels like he lost. He, he doesn't have any gumption to do another one. Here we have our eclipse card, or one of the eclipse cards, either this one or the moon, right here. Uh, he wants to just run away. He, can't, he knows he can't do any better than what he did the other night. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I guess he could come up with something crazier than, than um, immigrants eating cats and dogs. Like, what? And meanwhile, Ohio's coming after him, and yeah, so there's that. Um, Knight of Swords reversed is directionless. Again, directionless here and here in the past. Page of Wands reversed is negative news coming out about him, the way he's like a toddler, but now he's just not, he doesn't have any, um, to stick with the Knight of Swords for a second, he, he, he just doesn't really know which way to go, and he's going nowhere fast, I suppose is the best way to, to put that one. Um, this is our card of scattered thoughts all over the place. Uh, th this is our card of um, accidents and violence, but now this is all the past, right? So this is him worried about putting himself out there, speaking up because of what happened in um, uh, Pennsylvania, you know, the assassina assassination attempt of which he had nothing on his ear. He just basically got flicked with some little tiny itty, 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 bitty piece of shrapnel and then had to slap a damn Kotex on the side of his head for two weeks. You just milk it, right? <laughs> That's the toddler. Uh, he, and like I said, he just doesn't, with, with the eight of, um, eight of cups coming through upright, I don't think he thinks he can do any more. He wants to escape. He's really disappointed. He's withdrawing within. He's feeling abandoned, and he wants to abandon the whole thing, but he can't because he's trying to stay out of prison. He, the only chance he has is to become president again, and that's not going to happen. Okay, Ace of Pentacles reversed. He's lost. He's feeling like he's lost the best opportunity he had at the debate. He, I don't think he will debate her again. This is his mind closed off. This is his plans closed off. This is his lack of seeing forward. Ace of Swords, he knows he's lied. Ace of Swords coming through reverse. He knows he's lied. He's very confused. He's feeling very chaotic inside no clarity within, and he's in this, you know, this is also a, another card for memory loss, right? It's uh, Ace of Swords reversed. Because upright is mental clarity. Reversed, it's the opposite. Uh, but he really has this inner need also to win. And that didn't happen, so he has no closure. He feels incomplete with the, the world here. This is our card for lack of completion, lack of closure, not taking any self-responsibility. So that's how he's really feeling about the debate and, the, and moving into the eclipse portal. This is exactly what he will be carrying with him. And that sets up his next six months, so that's through to... I think it's March 13th, if I clocked it right. I can't remember. I think it's March 13th. But we also have another <laughs> We have another eclipse, a solar eclipse coming up in two weeks. So there's that. Okay, what's hanging over him with no control? 
He is going to be grifting and begging for money. He's definitely not going to be donating money. He, this is his uh, giving to receive or whatever. He's just going to be massive amounts of emails going out all the time uh, trying to get money. What's hanging over him is some other authority, which could feel very much like an Aries Leo or a Sag kind of a dude. And, you know, I mean, Lori looks at this card as like, well, no, actually, that she uses the emperor for that, about like this wall. The emperor does rule all the kings, though. So I feel like this is what's hanging over him. He has no control. I think this is outside authority. That's really the only way I can read that. Because he doesn't really have any real authority other than, you know, his connection with Putin, I suppose, if that's what you call authority. But you know, Kamala nailed him on that. And I think the news is going to keep coming out about that. And I think these three cards here speak to the fact that he's received funds, he, you know, fundage from Pudi right here, right here. And what's hanging over him, over him is to be judged for that. I, I have to read the meaning of this card differently. It's not. This is not a spiritual reading. This is well a little bit, but I uh, I would usually read this as somebody you know honoring their inner calling. He's not doing that. So we have to look at the other meanings for this card, which are literally judgment. Um. Uh, so judgment's hanging over him, and it's especially connected to Pudi. Uh, getting funneling money to him in all of his ways, his ability to do that. Money laundering, the, being a part of the transnational money laundering crime syndicate that all gets you know exchanged around the world. Um, the international um, consortium of, what is it? It's ICIJ, and I can't remember. International Consortium of Investigative Journalists have concluded that it's there's about $8 billion a year that gets funneled around the world to all these different oligarchs all, all over different countries, you know. Um, that's like, you know, black market. It's the, the selling of weapons, arms, humans, um yeah, drugs, of course, you name it, and whatever, you know, black market objects that are not, um, you know, they're not real. So, okay, that feels complete over there. So now let's focus right down here. The, these three cards is it has to do with what he's attracting. Well, this is the government card. This is the rules and regulations of the government. And this is him being at the bottom end of the wheel of fortune, which is, which is, means not fortune, not fortunate at all. This means some negative external forces that, have, that are out of control. You know, a person can't, there's nothing they could do about it. He's stagnant. He's on his head. Um, this is also a card when it's reversed on the health level, liver problems, excess weight, high blood pressure, gout, obesity, toxicity. That's him. And this card's ruled by Taurus. You know, this one's ruled by Jupiter. This one's ruled by Taurus. So it's all in his body. And in the Hierophant upright is, you know, the group identification. So he's attracting some group. Well, of course, it would be people who don't give a damn about women's rights and reproductive rights. And um, on one level, he just wants to sit and act like he's all that, you know, within this religious extreme uh, faction that supports him and, uh, and drink. And he wants to drink. <laughs> and I bet he does drink, even though he says he, he never drinks. Well, yeah, he's a pathological liar. So sure, I'm going to believe that. Now, but keywords reverse with the three of, three of cups can be an affair. He could be sitting, because, you know, um, Melania hasn't had a thing to do with him in a long time that way, I am sure. She's just been like his arm candy, you know, for having to pay each time for a public appearance. And I think that 
he's tired of paying and whatever. And I think this could relate to some other younger women, you know, like that Laura Loomer that hang out because they believe in him and, you know, sugar daddy kind of stuff probably, right? But he, he knows they're, they're, they don't really love him. He doesn't love himself, and, and how could he? So why, why would anybody else really love him? Because, you know, that's how it works. So, but anyway, three is a crowd. Affairs. Drinking. Lack of creativity. Feeling like you're not enough. You're afraid of not being enough. Depression. Betrayal. Guilt from being a betrayer. So, of course, you know, major impotency going on here. Okay, yeah. let me get out of that realm. <laughs> this line right here is how others are influencing the situation. So there are some people that are still going to throw money until the last day, until the crown is totally gone. You know, the imagery, the symbolism in this deck, which is the reason I use it so much, is just, it's so rich. So, it doesn't matter how many people throw how much money at him. It's still not going anywhere because it's all, it's all, that's it. Now, I know Kamala, of course, well, yeah, I guess, you know what, you guys, this could be her. I would see it more her upright, but she's coming after him. He is dying. Well, others are influencing the situation. Well, Kamala is one of the reasons he's, you know, this, this death card. The death card is, is how she has annihilated him at the debate. I remember watching Lori over the way of positive change. Was it her Tuesday? Was it? Yeah, I think she did it in the morning. Yeah, she did. She went live during the, in the morning before the debate. She got the death card coming out, and I can't remember which positions, but she got it for both Kamala and Trump. And after the debate, I had to, you know, comment and say, she annihilated him. That's why that card kept coming in there. <laughs> she killed. She killed, and she killed with all of the, uh, you know, the, the forces of what is right and just and fair for uh, for people to live and build, you know, because she's all about everyone being able to build their own little, you know, safety, security experience for themselves and their family. And that's what this guy's about. You know, when he's upright, there's, there's security and there's some power and there's discipline and lots of abundance. But for him, it's coming to an, a very painful end. And here she is at the other side saying, no, you don't get to pass here. You know, because this is an air card. She's a little water and air. The, uh, the queens are all of the water nature plus the, the element that they're um, bringing forth. And this is air. with the, So the, this would be uh, her, well, it could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But she's a Gemini. I'm sorry, she's a Libra, Libra sun. So this is her. I think she does have a Gemini Ascendant, though, if I remember correctly. Hold on, wait one second. We have a chart right here. Um, oh, wait, oh, that's the DMC. Yeah, 24 degrees. Yeah, okay. So she does have a lot of air. No wonder she's such a good prosecutor. So she's coming after him, and she's, you know, she's, she's... <laughs> She's ruthless about it, right? She's ruthless because she knows what we're up against and she wants to protect. So this is what he's attracting or how other people are influencing it. He's attracting this himself on, in his um, internal world, which also relates to these cards here too, all, all six of these cards. And down here, very, very much. And then karma up here. But this is how other people are affecting him. 
Okay, outcome for this week. He does not get to surrender and rest. He <laughs> is going to act like he's the martyr at some point. He's not going to be able to decide much of anything at all. He's just going to be, you know, very deceptive, um, deluded, addicted, feeling like he's drowning in his own BS, and he is. Uh, let's see, what else? Sometimes this card can have to do with poisoning. Definitely tons of insecurity when it's reversed. And it's also my card for addicts when it's reversed. There's no surrender to it. They're just, you know, they're not seeing life from another angle. They're only up in their head thinking, you know, he's the golden one. But he's not footed, and he's he's not securely footed on the ground, and he's tied to a post. And I don't know, what is he sitting there with his hands behind his back, thinking, you know, like, I'm all this? Well, you're not. This can be a card of financial failure, whether it's upright or reversed. Um, the outcome this week is he's going to be reassessing and reevaluating. And then, of course, with the magician, I, I think maybe he's going to think he's got a new plan. I mean, his only resources right now, which are problems, and I will read on them separately, is the fact that the um, there are at least three swing states that we know of that um, have thrown everything into chaos by um, challenging the the whole you know, can't, uh, what do you call vote counting process so that it could go into like a recount kind of a thing. So, um, because, you know, the, um, the, the GOP, they, they just, they can't win unless they suppress. They can't win. There, there are less of them. So they have to gerrymander, which if we vote like crazy, we can blow the gerrymandering out. But once all the votes come in, what they're trying to do is um, they're trying to say how election clerks could verify absentee ballots. But, and I think that's in Michigan. I think it's in Michigan. So the, it basically, anyway, they're, they're, they're suing, like in different states, they're suing and they're filing these like anti-voting lawsuits in Michigan and North Carolina. So th this is what's going on up here. This is his plan. Like the seven, we could look at these pentacles as each of the swing states. And I would say this, this election cycle, there's usually six, but there is seven. Okay. And they've got a plan. So that's the outcome for this week. But he's not, I, that doesn't, doesn't look to me like it's going to work with this here. Because, you know, this is our martyr card. This is like drowning in, in your disgusting, poisonous, toxic, addicted, you know. So, yeah. Let's see if I were to keep going. Oh, yeah. No, so nine of pentacles with that reverse, it's not going to work. They, they can dream on. It's not going to work. No. Nope, 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 nope. Go suck a stinky fish. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. And join me tomorrow with Lisa. Lisa's back. Yay! So noon uh, Pacific 3 Eastern will be live and taking your questions. If you can get them in early, I might be able to get to all of them. If not, leave them below this one or anywhere on any of my videos uh, or even in the community section and I'll get your questions and I'll do another over the table it, it, as soon as I can. I, I'm booked like crazy for my astrology and personal readings, so I'm, I'm having to uh, be careful. <laughs> okay, anyway, take very, very good care. Bye.